Abu Abdurrahman from the UK says, can you tell us something about the deeds and the best of deeds that we can perform in Ramadan? Akhi, the sky is the limit. Anything that is good that you can offer in Ramadan, this would get you closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. Upon the top of the list is avoiding sin. So the best deeds you can do in Ramadan is to avoid sin, major and minor. And one of the best ways of doing so is to eliminate totally your usage of social media. So you do not enter during the month of Ramadan social media at all. No YouTube, no Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, wh whatever. Nothing. Complete zero. And you devote your time to getting closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. It's going to be difficult. And the reason is that we are addicted to these haram things. And in Ramadan, Allah is coaching us, training us to kick the habit and not to be addicted to what is halal, such as water and food. This is halal. But Allah is telling us to refrain from halal things, 15 hours, 17 hours, 19 hours, depending on your region, so that we are not even addicted to what is halal. Rather, we worship Allah Azza wa Jal and we do whatever he tells us to do. So by default, any other addiction to haram things, you would have to cleanse your system. You have to detox, as they say. Everybody's saying you have to detox. Now, in Ramadan, we detox from these social media, from YouTube, which only leads us to sin after sin. Yes, we might find five minutes of a lecture or of a reminder, but beautiful, but the rest of the hour is all in haram. So totally avoid it. There is worshiping Allah with what he mandated upon you. And this is the highest of all types of forms of worship. So taraweeh is good, witr is good, night prayer is good. Nothing is equivalent to praying fajr in the masjid for men. To praying your fard prayers on time for both men and women. So do your level best in ensuring that what's mandated upon you from Allah is being done without any delay or shortcomings. Now the best thing for us men is to pray Fajr in the masjid and remain until the sun rises. Reading the Quran, making dhikr, and then praying two rak'ahs. Whoever does this in the masjid, Allah would reward him with the reward of a Umrah and Hajj. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And this is every single day. So 30 days of Ramadan, 30 Umrah and 30 Hajj. And you don't have to go to the agent and get a visa and come all over, all the way to Mecca. No need. You can recite the Quran and finish it once every three days. This is one of the best things, meaning that you read 10 juzu per day. So in, in, in three days, you finish the Quran, you start over again. You can give money in charity. Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, when with his father says that the Prophet ﷺ was as generous as the wind. And he would be most generous in Ramadan. So this is a byproduct of revising the Quran, is that you become generous and you give in the cause of Allah Azza wa Jal. Feeding the food during the month of Ramadan, it's one of the uh, 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 byproducts of being generous so you feed the food and among those whom you feed are the poor the needy and even your relatives who are not poor or needy the prophet said whoever breaks the fasting of a person will get the same reward as he had so someone who fasted and it's now sunset time you give him dates you give him water milk some soup some sambusa and a meal then Allah would reward you 
with the same reward of him fasting a full day. So you can do that. You have to observe night prayer, known as taraweeh. So if you pray with the imam in the masjid until he concludes his witr, Allah would reward you as if you have prayed the whole night from Isha till Fajr. And if you do this every single night without skipping a night, Allah would forgive all of your sins, previous sins. And you can do Umrah, you can visit your kinship and connect to them so that whatever was severed, you patch it up. You can check on the poor, the needy, those who need medication and give them. The sky is the limit. A lot of dua, a lot of dhikr, especially dua when you break your fast. The Prophet told us Islam, that the dua is answered, it's not rejected. A lot of dhikr throughout the day and the night. And as I said, the sky is the limit.